Billions of Americans are heading home today after the Thanksgiving holiday on what is expected to be the busiest travel day of the pandemic. Maura Sirianni spoke to travelers in Atlanta at the world's busiest airport. Sunday morning, millions of Americans hit the road and took to the skies. It was pretty much like a normal experience with the exception of having to wear the mask. Inetta Floyd is one of roughly 1.1 million passengers estimated to have passed through Hartsfield Jackson between last Monday and today. Floyd said she traveled to Louisiana to be with family. My mom was going to be there, so this was kind of a really important Thanksgiving for us. It was pre-planned from last year. So this is why I decided to go ahead and travel and just take the necessary precautions. Transportation officials say travel is down about a third from this time last year. That's something that passengers here at Hartsfield Jackson say they're noticing. Less, less than last year. So you can really tell the COVID had a lot to do with it. James Carroll canceled travel plans over the summer due to the virus and says he wasn't willing to do that again. I stayed home just to be sure that I wouldn't get it, but then I got it the next month, so it didn't matter. Over the past week, the TSA says they've processed more than 6 million travelers, the highest in terms of passenger volume since the pandemic began. This despite a desperate mid-November warning from the CDC asking folks to stay home. Now experts fear a new wave of COVID infections could be coming. We're seeing the surge with the inflection curve like this. Sunday on Meet the Press, Dr. Anthony Fauci urged Americans to continue taking precautions to avoid putting added stress on hospitals and to avoid another lockdown. What we expect, unfortunately, as we go for the next couple of weeks into December, that we might see a surge superimposed upon that surge that we're already in.